Do you, is it you in that program? You taught it? Or uh, no, part I'm, of it? I'm actually a, I'm a plus one. Okay. okay. There in the uh, Institute of Health and Medical Okay. So I work with uh, Professor Hookmacher, who is the director of our Center for Regenerative Medicine. Right. So in addition to that, we also have the, um, an ARC funded energy environment facility. Which is, up, which is both a teaching and a training institution. So we bring the students, and they'll hear, you know, persons with different backgrounds, introduce them to the uh, faculty, and they can either help and assist with ongoing projects, or we can actually foster a new one based on future interests, like for example, the our goal of the and following up the train to push forward the sort of this generation. Yeah. Is, it, is, is the technology changing fast? Um, it's changed quite considerably in the, in the past few years. A lot of it really came about from the open source and the maker community, and that was kind of spurred by the fact that the IP protection that once protected the yeah, printing off. patent, yeah. yeah, it was protected for several years, and then once the patents expired, that just opened the floodgates for access to this technology and this knowledge, and people have just, you know, ran with it. So you have people like yeah. our collaborator who have actually done work in developing the IP technology. <laughs> the companies that are developing the specific technology. Okay. Well, What's your research on? So I kind of delve into different aspects on our materials and 3D printing, but I work in water and hydrogels and liquid-based materials and serial photography. But I also am overseeing this project as well. So uh, I do kind of a bit of everything. Right? <laughs> right. No, 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 you have to say it. We might have to put it in the face. All right. Pack yeah. it up? Yeah.